Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. In this episode we're going to go and find a moon dungeon. So before we do that we need to build a buggy. Well we don't need to but I'm going to build a buggy. And of course we need to do a buggy launch pad or something like that. Now one problem I've had between episodes is that my storage becomes full. I have to resolve that. So look, basically if you look in here all of this stuff is full, so we've got far too much ellipse cobblestone. What happens is then all of these get completely full. So what I'm going to do is take them out now. I have to do it like this, don't have It goes into the hot bar, but they don't shift click into that. So I'll take these out of there like that. And then we'll take these and we'll put them into this, the MEIO port. If we put them in one at a time, for example, if I put this in here, you see it's got 40 out of 63 items and 496 bytes full. Just put it in there. It's got taken it all out and what it's done with it is it's put it into the storage now sometimes you don't know whether what you want to put into storage so what i do is i put it into a chest like this one of these items into a chest and then have a look what's blocking it so you can see here i've got venus ruby or quite a lot of it and a bit of asteroid rock which we don't really care about and some venus crystal ten thousand well that would have been nice for galactic science one wouldn't it and it's also got some electronic circuits and other bits and pieces in which really shouldn't be in here uh, like engineering processes they should be elsewhere so i'm going to take this out of here like this i think this is what we're going to do next and we'll just push this into here like that and you do one at a time you see it's taken out everything already and this one too and this one too so now we've got plenty of storage space and all of those so let's go and put those back into here Oops, yeah. That does not do where I put this one. Being there with well, that doesn't make a difference. We'll put this one back into here like that. And what I go and do with that stuff is it that's better much easier than going around sticking export buses on things. So what I did over here is I'd already prepared these bits and pieces here, so we should have some now some items in here that we've got forty thousand. See so all of these things here were blocking up the actual storage. We've got twenty four thousand blocks of uh, iron well, that's not too bad uh, iron i mean that's not too bad is it and here you see the, all the ellipse cobblestones coming into here and it should be coming in fairly fast wow so right let's get on with this task for today because really what i want to do is to test out this sword of mine so it'd be a good thing so in here i prepared 32 blocks of iron and that makes a moon buggy so let's tick that on shouldn't take too long gone and that will have gone into this chest over here behind it I guess yeah indeed it has got money everywhere and this one here is heavy duty plate tier one one of those plus 64 steel plates will give us a buggy fuel pad that's what we want let's turn this one off now there we go and if we can turn off the heavy duty plates we don't need any of those things in there so we've now got our buggy fueling pad now what i didn't i thought is that we actually do not have in this game moon uh, bases actually i should remove this marker because it's going down through the thing uh moon dungeons but we do so let's put the moon buggy to think down there i think i can probably use the same one as the rocket yeah i can and let's put the mug the buggy on top of it like this And that should start to fuel up. Let's have a look. We've got plenty of fuel in here. Yes, we have. Okay. While that's doing that, I've just got to go and sort out one more thing. Because I noticed when I did all of this, what happens is the um, ME interfaces get blocked and they get filled with the wrong things. So, for example, here there wasn't any snow. You see, this is going through there nicely. And that should be making some calculation process at some stage or other. Checking that one, checking that one, everything seems to be okay now. It looks much better than it did before. This one, of course, is ellipse cobbles, and that should disappear over time. In fact, we could take it out and it comes back with Venus cobblestone. Fantastic! So, they should actually change and eventually get the right one. Let's put that over here and this just over here. Oh, wood, we don't need either. That was just for something else. I think that's everything that we need. Ah, yeah. And what was happening is the snow was run out of snow. I don't know whether we've got snow in here now. 
Oh, we have fantastic. So that's now working. You see this? Oh, that's very bad because I ran out of snow. That means all the cows and cattle will have died because the bubble will have disappeared. No bubble, no cows. They'll have, they'll have died sometime in the night, which is a shame. But it's fairly easy to get some more, and I don't really have any uses for them to be dead honest with you. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to turn this off. Like that, so it's not going to push any more. And you see we got some raw beef from the cows that died and some plenty of eggs. So we probably can make more hens when the bubble comes back again anyway. That's a bit of a shame. And here I was making witch water to do some sand, but I think... Yeah, it's not full anymore. So I'll have to find a better way to do that. But anyway, now the buggy should be full. And I've already prepared in here. Let's get in it. I've right click it. Yes, I do. I've got to try to remember how to drive this thing. Okay, so we've got uh, F for fuel, fully loaded. That's fantastic. Now let's go. So we just have to press W, I think, and press D. Oh, yes, D will do. It's very quite difficult. There's one. There's a, there's a moon dungeon over there. And there's a moon dungeon over here. And we're going to go to this one over here because it's not so far away. I think we can jump over most of this stuff. I think we go through no problem at all. One or two. I just have to go this way, don't I? So I don't really want to do that. Never mind. I have to turn around if I can't get stuck into these places and go around like that. So I want to go to this one. I think I shall wait for this to render in. S stop. Yep, OK, W. Because if it's not going to render in, I don't want to get into that position I got in before where it just, just I couldn't get anywhere. So I'm pressing S and D to steer along and holding down the W key. In fact, it's coming up to night time. Hmm. But we should be OK. We've got plenty of oxygen. We've got our, oops, bit of a big jump. How far have we got to go for this thing? 180 meters. And you'll see, if you look on the minimap now, you can just about see what the dungeon looks like on the moon. And as we get nearer here like this, we'll press S and stop and get out. Shift to get out, I guess, yep. Yeah. So we should be able to break the buggy. Let's can we break oh no shift. I don't want to do that. I just want to break the buggy down to pick it up again. Right, that's it. So let's put that away. I don't want to carry it with me, do I? The other way you can travel is with of course I've got the glider. Press G for the glider to activate it. And then I can press space a few times. Look down, press space, one, two, three. And with the jump boost, and you, then you hold W, you can fly quite a reasonable distance. And this is what the, the dungeons look like. So let's go. I haven't been down this one, but I wasn't sure whether or not they existed on this one. Let's turn the glider off again. Well, let's just jump down here, get the sword into my hand. Because there's bound to be mobs down here. And it, they're certainly black as can be. So let's just turn up, put some torches down here. Open this chest up. What do we get? Well, we get some music discs, some iridium shards. That's going to be good. We'll keep that. Some dark steel. We'll keep that. Not that useful. And the rest of it's just basically shell casing for foundry and stuff like that, which we'll leave. Don't care about that. So what I go and do normally is I press the right. I always put torches down on the right hand side there. There's a skeleton over there. Let's get rid of him. If I can, two shots should do the skeleton. And then we've got the spider, get the sword out quick. Any more around? No. Okay, actually it's surprisingly dark today. And another spider. And then we've got another skeleton at the back there, just trying to shoot at me. Let's get this, the arrow out. Because we don't get the same drop as they get. And here's a spawner, so let's put a torch on the spawner. And there's another one over there, so let's get the sword out again. Let's whack a few of these. 
another skeleton in the corner but that's game that's skeleton spawn isn't it let's put some torches down there actually i'll press f4 to make sure that we there's no spawnable spaces in here though there aren't fantastic i'll turn that off again now there's a galactic craft torches once they've been put and i'll take this with me some food just in case i need it which i will have a bite to eat let me just go down here another spider down there i can see and another chest and some zombies there's usually some another skelly let's get rid of him i shall do him the quick way i think it's not so easy skellies are a bit hard especially in this pack i got him and another skeleton let's have a look in this chest rather right there what have we got in some copper by the looks of it's more iridium that's always good tin ingots copper ingots iron ingots and some bread well i'll take the food i will make sure this place is well lit up I know there's a skeleton down there. Let's get my bow in hand. Oh, I can't see him now. Just a bit of a bit over here. There he is. I think he's gone yet so what we got here some more iridium some more tin copper another heart don't really need any of these revolver frames and pellets from foundry i haven't got any uses for the hearts to be honest with you torch he was actually near enough to do him that way Stranger, actually, there are not that many spawners down here. I would expect to see more. What have we got in this chest? Some more iridium shards, that's good. And a bucket. And some more copper and tin. I don't really need the copper and tin, to be honest with you. Let's leave that here. And the galactic sign torches as well. In fact, what I could do with this, of course, is put this down like that. Right, let's get on with this again. It's quite a long. Uh, there's another skelly down there. Let's get him. I think he's gone. Yep, see the light. Oops, some more interesting stuff in there. Another skeleton. Let's get the sword in hand. We're going for it. Just go. Once get close enough, it's just a one hit kill. we got in this chest some more iridium fantastic a revolver drum don't care about that and some iridium ore that's great and the rest we'll leave in there to be honest with you i normally take everything but right here we come to the the main room what have we got in here some some tin and some iron. I don't want the tin really. I'll take the dark steel. Don't really need it. And the rest of it we can leave in there. There's only just bullets from that thing. So now we come to the main room. And this is where we we meet the the skeleton. Um, and I'm not sure the best way to attack him. Let's go in just to see if we can hit him with the sword. Because he does throw you up. That is a bit. Right, where has he gone to? Oh, there he is, look. Right, he's gone already, and I got a yellow heart from him. Actually, that wasn't too difficult. He should also drop a key. And lots of XP. Fantastic. 
Now, I'm going to put I'm going to put some torches down here. Oh, my printer's decided to do its business again. Now this should lead to the to a room with a, with a special chest in it, where we get some special rewards. This is well lit up actually, and I've got to use the key on this one, which we got from the last one. So let's take the key out of here like that, and open up the chest. And normally the idea is you get a NASA a, a moon buggy. <laughs> All right, we've got the moon buggy scheme. What have I got here? A building wand. Oh, I'll take that with us. And the pearls, a displacement wand, I think. What can we do with the displacement wand? Some more rhodium shards, that's good. Take that. We don't care about the Mobuki scheme because we can't. Oh, and a magic mirror from Quarry Plus. Oh, I think we can actually craft those. Let's have a look. Try that again. Oh, we can't craft those. So that's actually a real dungeon reward. Okay, let's just... Uh, get my bag out let's get rid of this. <laughs> hmm okay slight problem my pouch is full but this one isn't so let's just uh, do it like this so I don't need the zombie rotting flesh I don't need the string I don't need that I don't need that I don't need these two bows got a lot of stuff didn't we let's just sort that now so have a little bit more space for stuff I can take the end of pearls always useful we'll take this magic mirror I don't think we have any uses for it. All right, that's it. So, I think we can probably head home. I'm just wondering whether to go with the moon buggy and find the other dungeon or to do that. <coughs> but they're all the same anyway, so. And you see, when you go back and you've Put your torches on the right hand side they're always on the left hand side when you're going back again so that's always a good tip but let me just sort that out because i know that iridium is one of these things we need plenty of let's get this into my hand here we can go faster i wonder when it, basically what i want to do here to get out is simply just jump up Strangely enough, with the jump boost on it, you can do that quite easily. Now the spawners, they might well be worth taking actually. And what, but I think there might be a wand for doing that. Now, can we use a displacement wand on this? Do you know, I have no idea. It's one of the things, no, it doesn't look like that's the one. Maybe there's actually a one to move to move spawners around. Let's have a look. Did I press Control O? Oh yeah. Now, I wonder if there's one for doing acceleration ones, for actually grabbing spawners. Building one to just a one core, a moving one. And we actually can make this with one cause if we can do that. Blaze rods. Okay. What I think we'll do is we'll come back and we'll pick these up if we can with a moving one. I'm not 100% sure. If somebody knows, let me know. So they're still on my left hand side, these torches, by the way. And now we've reached the, here. So what I do to get out of just jump up. That's it, because with the jump boost on it, it's just dead easy. Now, it's night time. Tell you what we'll do. We'll put the, down the buggy. I'm not sure if it's got enough fuel in it. Let's just put it down and see. Ah, plenty of fuel. So let's go back to base in that case. In the buggy. I could fly, I suppose, but I don't really want to. Of course it's night time though we should get a few mobs coming up here as well so see how, how the buggy deals with going past the mobs it's probably a good idea to avoid doing going through the oh, maybe the hill's not too bad I'm just looking at the minimap if I go over this hill here I should be able to avoid those craters Cl 
concentrate while I'm driving. <laughs> there we can see our base already coming into view. Oops. Okay. Press S and get out. Shift. Okay, now we can pick the buggy up, of course. We'll take that with us. We'll leave that there. In fact, we can put the buggy inside this chest. It makes no difference. Remember where it is. Oh, and in that chest, I've got actually got two cows captured. The cows ain't no problem. But let's see how this oxygen's getting on. See so if it's actually managed to fill up this this stuff. Ah, oh, now it's coming up again. Look, this does produce enough oxygen, just about enough oxygen to to um, keep this tank, or well, actually to keep two going. So, oops, I can't walk. In, I'm walking badly today. It'll keep um, two of these oxygen bubble distributors going. So let's have a look. Now I shouldn't be losing any oxygen if I press. Uh, if I click on here like this. That's not. Oh, it is going down. The ball's not being produced. Why not? Not enough oxygen. Okay, fine. But I think we will get. As soon as that end of tank gets full, we'll get enough oxygen. Not in much of a time, really, because I can just simply come along here, take out these two, and then just replace the ones I've got. And put those in there. And you'll see here I've got four steel machine holes because they were base also being done. So look, what have we got in here now? See what it's crafting. That's not crafting anything. Okay, that's good. And I want to go quickly and check. When you've done all of that, you've got to go around and check all of these things. So make sure that this one hasn't got the coal chunks yet. And it hasn't got the calculation processes either. Now that generally means that something else has gone wrong in the system and we have to go and debug it so i suppose it's not such a bad thing to do let's just see if we can actually make some calculation processes oh, i've got 64. let's take those out of there see if we can craft any because it might be that well that'll work fine let's go and put these into the right place this should eventually get cleared out oh see so you've got one in here already shift that into that maybe that's correct and this should also be hard and glass should also be made and coming into that slot. I was making some caches, let's have a look. I think that's reasonable now. We've only got 400,000. I haven't figured that out yet. I've got to figure that out. Um, so we've got about 10 minutes left of this episode. So I'm just going to put this stuff away that I and let's try the displacement wand, wasn't it? Let's see if this has got anywhere near. <laughs> Still hasn't got empty. That's all we can do. Take some of this out of here like that. And that's actually starting. That's actually going up. And then we can put that in this chest over here. And then that should eventually go into the system in the right place. Actually, that reminds me, have I got. Have I got all the acceleration cards in it? Yes, I have. So I can keep doing that to get this a bit emptier. But now I've got all this iridium, it's pretty good because iridium's a real pain to get. I don't know whether we've got enough, but uh, let's see where I can put this iridium. I can put it in here, look. Because I want this. I was doing some endermen and grinding some endermen pretty straightforward, actually. I was, taking the, I was doing it the dangerous way. I shall show you that. In fact, let's do that. Because what I want to make was a wireless charger. So you need an ender like this, charged up. Well, this one's got repair on it, of course, because of the repair talisman. And some end, end of and spawners like this. What we'll do is actually we'll have a quick sleep because it is night time. So we don't have too many mobs around. Doesn't take long, fortunately. Let's get this in my hand here.
as a creeper, let's get rid of him. I could actually make a waving bow as well. To that matter. It's generally down here I do it. We can check we've got what sort of mobs we've got around. Just press L. Sound locator active. See what we get around here. Because basically what I want to do now is go down towards bedrock. Oh, it's empty. Just put a torch down there. I think it's this way. And I wasn't bothering to put down on here any... Um, there we go. Marcus, because I'm not going to come back this way, I just teleport back again. Let's go and find a bit of bed, bedrock, should be down around about here. There we go. Light up a few areas just in case. This will do nicely. So, what I'm going to do is put the Enderman down, say here, and he can't teleport very far because he doesn't know where to go to. So, let's just do that. And what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to get him up that like that. Okay. So we, we right click the egg here like this. I want to get to a spot which is a good place to hit him, like that. If I go about here, I should be able to right click him and that. Yep, that's fine. Okay, that'll do nicely. So what I did is put it down like that. Once it's been hit, of course, it's no big deal. You can't teleport away anyway. Oops, that one just did. And that one just did too. They'll die. Hopefully they'll come back and try and attack me, but they haven't done. Right, there we go. Let's see if we can find those guys. Oops, there he is. I was just being a bit quiet, of course, because it's uh, slightly dangerous. We should have some ender pearls down here, at least. What else have we got? And have we got another head yet? No. Let's do it again. Damn. Sorry. It's too too slow. Try again. Put it down. Hit him. That's it. Where's the other one gone to? It's over there somewhere. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, there he is. Seems to have a bit of a problem picking up the stuff here. All right, there we go. Ender pearls, 10. Enderman had none yet, so we keep doing it until you get an enderman head. I do actually want a second one, so I'm doing it now. So right click, left click. Oh, there we go. Oops, missed. Was too far. Where's he gone to? I can hear him. Oh, he's right above my head there, look. I need to eat something. Try that doing this again. All right. Okay, so it's that way, that way. They do sometimes teleport away fairly fast. Where's this one gone to? Over there. Yep. Oh, so it's a bit of fun. Fourteen and ender pearls and still no ender head enderman head on the mind. Which I'll keep going one more time, I think. And if I don't get this time I'll just go and do it in my own time. Jump down here. I've certainly got another end of pull in that one. Yep. Ah, he just jumped before I got him. Right, he's over there. Right, 
Right, well, that's, I'm not going to do any more of those. That's enough for that, I think. As you can see, these caves are enormous. What is quite useful, though, is I might be able to find some more mobs along here. Let's, let's look at a map. What I should do is replace this for this, of course. What I'm trying to do here is you can see there's a whole bunch of mobs just over that way. Just change it to three by three. Right, we're going towards them. do is basically get this wave and see if I can get some mob souls because I ain't sure it's going to work but one of the things that I do definitely need to do is mob, get some mob souls so now we're already full of stuff let's just get rid of some of this I'm going to eat as well of course let's hope this, and this chip pouches are still full okay that on number six. Let's get rid of some more stuff that we don't need with us. I think that'll probably do. Bedrock again, huh? down here that's a bit of a strange place for a bit to be hidden and look at that how can he be sticking his head out like that I won't got all sorts of stuff but we haven't got any anything really interesting right that's time to go back to base let's get out of here the wave and the warp stone if I can see it where have I put the warp stone oh there So that's it for this episode. I hope you oops, let's go around this way. I hope you enjoyed it and found that you actually can get moon buggies and uh, and dungeons on the moon, which also means you've got them on the Mars. The Mars ones are actually a lot more fun. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.